What is going on miners and welcome back to the Hobbyist Miner channel. Look, we have a little mining uh, dog. Hi. <laughs> Maltese Bichon if you're interested. Anyways, today, before we go ahead and jump into what we have here, I wanted to go ahead and go over. We got a little letter here. Um, so let's take a look at this with some stickers. Heck yeah. It says the Hobbyist Miner. It's a great day to be a sticker. Thought I would drop you a couple of the hot of the pre oh, hot off the presses sort of altered component stickers. Appreciate you and glad to be a part of the mining content creation community. Look at that altered component. Thank you, man. So we got two stickers from him, which these are awesome. So where these will go is actually over here, and I've been building up quite a variety of stickers in here from all the different content creators and miners out there. And eventually when the basement's finished, we'll have a dedicated wall for these in the mining room, which I think will be awesome. So thank you very much for sending that. If you guys have stickers that you guys want to send me, um, reach out to me, direct message me, and I will go ahead and give you guys my uh, public PO box and you guys can send it. I check my PO box about once a week. So what do we have here? So let's take a look at the first box. How's that sound? And then that'll be a good teaser to get into things as well as discuss things in more detail. One-handed, it's always fun. Look at this thing, heck yeah. So this is an MSI Z170A gaming motherboard. It's actually the M7. And uh, you can see we got some uh, Chinese writing all over this sucker. So let's talk about it. So I am finding more and more that mining rig parts are becoming harder and harder to come by. And I think it pairs very closely with GPUs. Uh, I won't go into it fully in this video, but graphics cards are becoming harder and harder to come by. Even the, the second hand ones I'm finding, you know, that's really where my uh, specialty is and where I focus on is second hand GPUs. Well, I'm having a hard time finding some of those like it was much easier six months ago, like the 580s, the 1660 Ti's, you know, 580s, 1660 Ti's are listed for 500 now. I was getting them for like 300 bucks, like um, just a few months ago. So let's take a look closer look at this guy and then I'll explain why I bought it and where I'm starting to find my mining hardware just because the prices right now are outrageous um, for anywhere else. Okay, so check out this motherboard. So the first thing we as miners go to is PCI slots. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Hell yeah. So this is, and, and as I said, this is the MSI Z170A. It's a pretty sick motherboard to be honest with you. This is a beefy, and look at this thing. On board, if I wanted to, HDMI, double HDMI display port on there. Uh, this is one heck of a motherboard. And so what brought me to be buying this motherboard, uh, as well as some other parts here that we'll go into here shortly, is I've been having a really hard time finding motherboards for good prices. So I decided to start looking at other alternatives. So I started looking at refurbished sites and started looking at returned warehouse websites and you know really look it's almost like second hand but from overseas like things like alibaba and stuff like that because the prices in the u.s right now for some of these things on your traditional amazon for brand new or new egg for brand new or best buy for brand new are just ridiculous like the parts are just uh, the 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 prices are going up so quickly that it just doesn't make sense. So what I've started to do is source this stuff from over in China. And sorry, US, you know, US homegrown, love the USA, but I gotta start looking at China. And so this is from China. Um, this motherboard I went out and looked at because I decided that I'm done with the HP motherboards and the splitters. So I'll show you what I mean. So in here, you know, we have an HP motherboard on the board. We have another HP motherboard on the board with the splitters here. 
And you know, we've talked about these at length in many, many videos, which are pretty crazy. By the way, check out these temperatures. Heck yeah, 64 degrees Fahrenheit, I'll take it. My mining room is doing its job. But I've had, I have so many issues with these boards. And here's my latest fatality. So my B450M motherboard for my flux rig has been down for two days now. I just built this last week. And I'm pretty sure it has to do with the splitters. I'm just, I'm done with the splitters. Like they've worked, but I've been having more and more problems with them over the last six weeks. So I've decided it's time to start buying motherboards that support exactly what I need. So let me go ahead and grab these real quick. And I wanna talk about these with you guys. Okay, so here, let's grab some other stuff too. Got some other stuff here, some other goodies. It's like shopping here at Micro Center. Okay, so this is some other stuff I wanted to chat about. So I went ahead and found these boards. There's actually three of these in here total. These are just brown box, um, but I brought three of these. And I'll talk about where I bought them at the end. But what I did was, I found the cheapest CPU that I could find that would fit this board, not looking to do any CPU mining, like uh, rapid mining or chump change. Dude, shout out to those guys. If you guys are inter interested in CPU mining, go check out rapid mining and chump change. They are blowing up in the CPU scene right now with Raptorium. Anyways, i3-6100T, okay? So I bought three of these for $60 each off of eBay, which was a steal because I started to look at like processors out there and I was like, oh my gosh, the processor costs are going up. So I went on eBay, found three of these, you know, second hand, why not? They will fit the chipset here. Perfect, good to go. I bought a $16 thermal take cooler. Why not, you know, cheap enough. I found some memory on sale now this was off of Newegg, this guy, and these are eight gigs each. Now I'm finding the memory isn't as bad right now for the DDR4, this is 3200, uh, not so bad. So I bought, I bought it uh, because I already have one stick. Where's my one stick? I got, look, I got another pack over here of these. And I just, you know, this could handle four rigs right here, so we're good. So this board, you know, we talked about like sites where we're buying these from. You know, I haven't, I haven't used Alibaba yet. Um, I've been talking more and more with DJ Mines. I'm not from, sure if you guys are familiar with him. He's newer within the content creation and mining scene. Um, go check him out, give him some love. He has turned me on to Alibaba. There are a boatload of these B250 hybrid style boards that have 10 to 12 PCI slots on them and they're like $100 total shipped, which is insane. But Alibaba is like this whole nother market and a whole other style of buying. And you have to buy, you know, in bulk. Some sites allow, some um, sellers allow three, some sellers allow 10 or more craziness. But anyways, long story short. So I've started to look at the Amazon returned warehouse. If you go on Google and look for the Amazon returned warehouse, you can go ahead and just find products that not returned, but refurbished. So Amazon will refurbish them and resell them. So I've started to focus my eyes on there to get this discounted hardware. In addition, this guy actually comes from Newegg's refurbished site as well. So it's the exact same site. It's just a little harder to find, but like refurbished, this motherboard was $42. $42 for an MSI Z170A with seven PCI slots, and yes, I did my research, this supports seven GPUs. It's gonna be a godsend, guys. Now, the downside to this. Downside, there's always downside, right? There's always downside. It took about 15 days to get to me, so not your traditional two-day turnaround, but that's okay. Patience, no big deal. Uh, the other thing is the tracking was really bad because it came from China, and these are kind of your vendors on Newegg, so, I didn't get any tracking for 12 days, I think. Like it just, it said it like never had left China and then finally bam, it's in the US and it'll be here in two days. So, you know, that's the downside there. Uh, and then finally the downside was shipping. This was $95 for shipping. 
So, or I'm sorry, 65, $65 for shipping. So, you know, that's kind of a, a big deal too there. But all said and done, I mean, think of it from this side as a minor. Three motherboards that have seven PCI slots on them for that type of price is crazy. It's crazy. So I recommend, uh, I'm finding more and more that we're gonna have to, as miners, not looking to spend buku bucks on brand new hardware with the inflated prices. We're gonna be looking at your eBay. We're gonna be looking at your, your new egg uh, refurbished from China, but I'm okay with that. Like I'm completely okay with that. Uh, I, I don't mind saving my money for the GPUs instead of going crazy on the hardware for my startup costs. So would love to hear from you guys. Where are you guys getting your hardware from like i i just don't know how some of you guys can afford like amazon straight up or best buy or or micro center like or new egg share like the prices are insane right now like they just keep going up but like why spend over a hundred dollars on a motherboard it's crazy it really is crazy so i thought this was a huge steal um i got my three so i'm going to put a link down below if you guys want to get yourself one of these uh, as well as just make sure you do your research as to the chipset and your CPU. This one will support the i3-6100T, which is a huge win. Uh, but yeah, so tonight I'm going to be stripping down my flux rig, even though I just built it. Uh, this rig doesn't boot all of a sudden. I literally, like all of a sudden, nothing. So I'm gonna be stripping that down, pulling that out. I'll troubleshoot that later. I just need to get a rig up and running and I need to get this thing back on flux. Well, if you guys enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Take care.